Hello, it's Marco here from Markham 3D. And in this video, we're going to be using a tool that is severely underutilized. That is the lattice tool. What we're going to be doing is we're going to get these sci-fi panels and we're going to bend them and mold them a little bit. And this is all for an animated short film that I'm creating. And with these pieces, we're going to create kind of like a star field type thing where a spaceship has blown up. So if you want to keep up to date with that and see the next tutorial, hit the subscribe button. I'm so close to that 25,000 mark and I'll really appreciate it if you can. Thank you very much. Let's jump into the tutorial and go from there. So let's start off by importing our kit bashing set. So let's go file, append, because I wanna bring all that data into here. I'm gonna to go to the location of my file. Uh, this is the one here. It's in a collection and double click the collection. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Everything has come in now. You little river, we can do some work. So this is my full Greeble kit that I'm using quite a bit. Um, there is a link in the description. There's also a free version, which is about half the kit and that you can download as well. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be working on these panels to start off with. So let's come up into the top. And what I'm gonna do is I know from memory, this one here is the only one that's solidified. Everything else is just planes. And that's what we're gonna work with. So I'm gonna delete that one because I don't really want it. And so let's start off with, I'm gonna just go shift right click to put our 3D cursor there, shift A, and I'm gonna add in a lattice, the most underrated thing I reckon. So let's scale that up, scale it up on the X. Let's just press numpad seven to go into top view and we'll reposition that scale shift Z so it only goes on the X and the Y, scale on the Y, just so it encompasses everything. So it's really important to have it cover everything. It's not sitting on the right spots. So let's just bring that down. Are we in the right spot? Yes, we are now. So from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here onto the right hand side and select the lattice section. And we're gonna increase the resolution of U and V and a little bit more. And then W, which is kind of like this side piece here. So what we need to do now is select all these pieces. So I press C to bring out the cursor select. There we go. With the lattice select last, I'm gonna press control P to parent lattice deform. Cool, nothing happened. Don't you worry, sunshine. Let's now select our lattice. Press tab to go into edit mode. And from here, I can select these and I can just start moving them around. And now we're deforming the mesh really, really simple. I am gonna press O to bring up the proportional editing tool. Then I can press G and let's use the mouse wheel up. And now we can just start moving some of these vertices of the lattice really deforming. I mean, we can even rotate along the Z axis and give it a twist, G, Z, like this. Let's break this one, G, Z, a little bit more. This one can be a bit more extreme. Is there anything that's escaped? G to the Z, there we go. So now we've got this like really warped piece of mesh here and we want to apply it. So what I can do is I'm gonna press C to bring our selection tool. I'm gonna to select all this. Let's now deselect our lattice, select one of the objects, control J to join. Let's come over into the modifiers tab. We don't need the bevel there, so let's get rid of that. And I'm gonna press control A to apply the lattice. And then we can delete this lattice because we don't need it anymore. But now we've got the problem where everything is one mesh. Really easy to fix this one. So let's press tab to go into edit mode. I'm gonna press A to select everything. Let's search by pressing either spacebar or F3, or if you're on a laptop, Fn F3, and type in separate by loose parts, bam. Now each individual piece is its own part. The issue though, is that all the origins for every single piece is on this origin point. That's not where we want it. We wanna go into object, set origin, and origin to geometry, bam. Now all these are each their own individual pieces that we can, you know, put into a star field and combined, it'll look like there will be an accident. An accident. So if you wanna see the next part where we've blown up a ship and all these pieces are kind of floating in midair, hit the subscribe button and that'll keep you up to date with my content. And I look forward to seeing you again and thank you very much.